Okay, okay, okay. We're like a week away from the draft, maybe even six days. Is there a genuine chance that Scoot Henderson is wearing a Rockets jersey and wearing that Rockets cap when Adam Silver says, with the fourth pick, the Houston Rockets select? I don't even know. But at the rate it's going, I have no clue where Scoot Henderson could land. And there's a small chance, but there is a chance he could be a Houston Rocket. Before I lay out the avenues in which this could happen, make sure you like the video, subscribe, share to your friends, all that good stuff there, help me out. But without further ado, let's jump right into it. So you're hearing more and more reports of the Charlotte Hornets being locked in on Brandon Miller. That could be a smokescreen. If you guys remember last year, most of the fans in the H thought they were getting Bancaro, thought Bancaro was coming over to the H. But last minute thing, boom, the Magic taking number one, else up the whole draft board. So you can't really trust these results too much. Take them with a bit, with a pinch of salt. But at the end of the day, if it's true, and this scenario makes a lot of sense because they got their primary ball handling Lamelo, maybe they want that complimentary wing next to him. So if Scoot is available at three, how does the Houston Rockets come into play? Now, it's a bit of an interesting one because the ball's really in Portland's court. If they don't get offers good enough for the number three pick, and they decide to keep the pick, which I think is very unlikely, I don't see a world in which they keep Scoot because that's a conflict of interest. Dame, Anthony Simons, Scoot, Shaden, that's not working. So if they can't get a player that will help now, I think they'll be in the mode of, let me trade down, maybe to like, I don't know where, get a couple more future first round picks and we can flip that to help build around Dame that way while still having a high draft pick. You get what I'm trying to say? That's where the Rockets could come in. But it also depends, how highly does Rafael Stone and Tillman Fatia and all them guys there think how highly do they think of scoot henderson do they feel like he's a generational prospect do they feel like he can turn around the franchise or at least help turn around the franchise in my eyes yes but it depends on how they see it now at the same time you might be thinking we could be getting hard about blah 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 but what if you don't you have the chance to potentially acquire a guard like scoot henderson you don't look back in so many other drafts scoot henderson will be the number one pick in my opinion, I'm not saying he's going to be better than John Morant because we don't know how he's going to translate. I'm going to give him my opinion. But prospect for prospect, coming out of college or the Ignite, wherever, I feel like Scoot's one of the most polished point guard prospects we've had in a while. I've been seeing some Rockets fans saying, I don't want Scoot Henderson, he's not a point guard. If you just watch a couple of Scoot Henderson games, you can honestly see that his IQ is off the charts. He's a great floor general and has very good passing vision. It reminds me a lot of a name that's not popular in Houston, but John Wall. I'm talking about prime John Wall in that aspect. So stop with that nonsense that he's not a point guard. Scoot can facilitate, man. Let's stop that. But I don't think he falls to four. But realistically speaking, if you can't trade the fourth pick for a star player that really moves the needle for you, but at the same time you think, uh, I like Amen, but he's a big question mark. We like Taylor Hendricks, but is he a guy we want to take at four? Can Whitmore, does he really fit next to Kevin Porter Jr. and blah, blah, blah. I think that's a scenario where you have to be calling Portland to see what it might take to trade up to three. You know what I mean? Because I feel like Scoot Henderson on this Rockets team will honestly do wonders. I feel like he'll fit next to Green and Kevin Porter Jr. And is a generational talent. You heard it here. You guys can start doubting Scoot Henderson and saying what not, but it doesn't take that long to realise how good of a player this guy is. As a floor general, his IQ is through the charts. And a lot of guards, you look at Jaden Ivey, his body needs to fill out. X, Y and Z, their body needs to fill out. Scoot Henderson's a grown man. This guy is coming in here at 6'2", weighing like how many pounds? The guy's built, the guy's jacked. You don't need to worry about that. He'll be bullying guards. You get what I mean? So... I feel like there's too much upside with Scoot Henderson for you not to even explore the idea of trading up. If the package is going to be too steep, don't do it. But if there's an avenue and opportunity for you to do it, get Scoot Henderson. Do I feel like he falls to four? I don't know, because if Portland are in a situation where they don't, they can't acquire the star they want, they're not getting the right offers to trade down, and they're going for fit, if they don't take Scoot, who might they take? And if Scoot falls to four, oh my gosh. I'm being too optimistic. I don't think there's any way he falls to four. But like I said, if there's a way you can potentially acquire Scoot Henderson, you do it. As in, I've seen reports of Pascal Siakam. I'd rather acquire Scoot Henderson and trade maybe a future protected first, whatever pick is going to be. And effort, even maybe the 20th pick as well. 
rather than trading for Siakam, who doesn't really move the needle for me and is a free agent. Scoot has that much upside. You call the Portland Trailblazers if you feel if he's available at three. But that's just my opinion right there. I feel like Scoot not only fits the Rockets, he's going to be a phenomenal fit with the Rockets. Out of every guard prospect I've seen, he ha- he's the most ready, body-wise, IQ-wise, everything. But that's just my opinion. I might be a dumbass talking on YouTube. That's just my opinion. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. If you agree with me, disagree with me. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions. But without further what am I saying without further ado? But I love you guys so much. I'm gonna end this video right here. I can't speak. I'm gonna end this video right here. Thank you guys so much for listening. I'm out. Peace.